Thank you, Jordan, for that very riveting introduction. Uh, we are down here in Glenelg, everybody, a very beautiful and picturesque suburb. Uh, and even though I probably won't ever be able to afford to live here, it's always nice to come down here and enjoy the beach and everything. Uh, we're down here today to uh, actually interview Larson. Old grunge band. Uh, they've been doing wonderful things lately. Um, they're a bit late, and actually, hey man, oh, here they are right here. Sorry, we're late. How you doing, mate? Good to see you. Good to see you. You guys are, G'day. you guys are walking a bit slow there. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. Slow motion. You know, it happens. Can't control it. Uh, well, yeah. That's awesome. you know. Guys, it's a pleasure to have you here on the, the first episode for the new new season. Yes, new season, new series, mm. new episodes, first episode of 2020. Yeah. Um, thanks for having, thanks us. For having us. Yeah, no, that's yeah. Right. Thanks for um, thinking of us. Because I've, I've been following you guys for a while, and you've been doing some amazing things. Um, most recently, you did the, the CFS fundraiser. Yep. Um, just about $2,000 for that, so that yep. was wonderful. Yeah, we were um, surprised, but elated with that. Yeah. Turnout because we, yeah. we only we only promoted started promotion for the gig a week week, week beforehand yeah okay. and so um, you know we were merely providing a an outlet for people to donate their yeah. money and it's really a credit to the people who came yeah. out and donated so much of their own cash yeah you guys had um who was on the bill you had the Max Headroom on the bill who Max was, Headroom good, good friends of the show shout out to Max Headroom shout out Legends. and uh, back yeah with, um, yeah Nar Fest in Mildura last year good boys yeah good time <laughs> good time Mildura if you're ever out there Alex's favourite place yeah. yeah that wasn't um, enthusiastic well there's <laughs> stories behind that but we won't get into that oh, okay, the other band right. on the bill was uh, Retriever Retriever yeah, yeah. that's right. Um, could you guys tell us what your what your role in the bands are? Uh, well, I'm the drummer, drummer. Um, and uh, everyone, yes, exactly like that. <laughs> That's all I do. Um, and I uh, write 50% of the lyrics with, okay. with our front man. And I was the kind of doing the most of the managerial stuff. And then we got Brett in, who is a, a good friend Hello. of ours. <laughs> um, this is Brett. Yeah, um, and I, I take care of a lot of the, the show bookings. Um, and then also give the guys at least some sort of form of structure um, to be able to plan things, because uh, most people work, you know, nine to five. Um, like Alex, I have no musical talent uh, yeah. at, at all. Um, but I, I do, don't know if I deserve that. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, Alex is good at his songwriting. He's actually got significantly better over the last 18 months. Oh, wow. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, no, I take care of a lot of the, the admin side of stuff. Um, so yeah, show bookings, um, giving, giving some structure and also um, giving the guys a bit of advice in terms of planning things out um, as well and saying, hey, if we have a six month, 12 month, 18 month kind of plans, um, it's a lot easier to break everything down. Okay. Hit, those, hit those bigger goals and and it means we, we can focus on just yeah the creating the music yeah yeah, yeah. Um, which is which is great yeah it's nice for the guys to be able to pitch an idea and just say hey we want to we want to do this we don't know how to make it happen and I go don't worry about it I'll just I'll get it done it was it was the the first time it kind of hit me was when we because we have merged at the moment which we've had for like a year with our faces Simpsonized. Oh wow, yeah. Um, like the Pin Pals episode of The Simpsons and uh, our faces are on the back of the t-shirt and someone asked me, I, showed, I was showing the pictures to, to people and someone asked me, he's like, oh, who did that? And I said, I don't know. Um, and it was great, it was so freeing. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't know, I didn't need to know. It happened because Brett donates his time and sometimes a lot of his money to, to helping our band. Oh, wow. and, uh, Look yeah. at you, such yeah. a good we don't, man. We, don't, we certainly don't fucking pay him. <laughs> yeah. Christ. Um, it's okay, I like sleeping on the, the, the floor um, in, in Melbourne um, and dropping Steve off at the airport at 5am, but hey, look, we all have our roles. I've, ne I've never met anyone like Brett who cares and is so passionate about the just the local music scene, both, both state and, uh, and nationwide. We're so passionate, yeah. all of the passion. It's like this sea out here. So would you say you're definitely 
kind of the extra member of the band then? Because not many, not many managers would agree to jump on camera and interview. hundred uh, percent. Yeah, we, um, we've been, we've been all, all been mates for, for for years before I even got involved. Um, I mean, Steve. Uh, I went to school with Steve and Sam. Um, Our and bass player and lead guitarist. We, we've been um, mates for a few years, um, and it it just sort of gelled gelled quite quite easily. It, it doesn't feel like um, there's any sort of like hierarchy or anything within the band. It's just everyone comes as a, as a democracy, and um, everyone's got their own thing to be able to bring to the table. And I'm glad that I can bring some sort of stability. It's nice to have, a, have a, an odd number now because it means that. Yeah. There is a deciding vote if we're split 50-50 on a Ooh, yeah, on a decision, good. like yeah. creatively or otherwise. Yeah. It's nice having a fifth member to, to tip <laughs> us, to break it up, to tip us over the yeah. scale. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, it was just we had to resort to our usual thing, which was a fight to the death. Okay. Yeah. So, so, do you guys find that you all have kind of very different ideas then? Sometimes creatively, I mean, we've gotten better at being on the same page, but we come from very. <laughs> uh, no, I was I was I was just thinking on that like. Um, there, there is some some split in terms of um, deciding on like if there's a new cover that we want to add it to the oh, set. Oh Jesus! I, I really like. Oh. I, I'm a big fan. No, of, I'm a big fan. No, of... I'm not getting this on camera. <laughs> Casey Chambers, am I not pretty enough? It's coming out. It's coming out in 2020. Um, Liam, Liam and Brett are yeah. so sold on doing a cover of uh, Am I Not Pretty it's Enough? Great song. It's, yeah, it's a great it's, song. Look, that's yeah, right. music is subjective. Um, over the years, we, the four of us, have gotten better. And yeah. like when we're creating music, it, we come from really different musical backgrounds. Yeah. yeah. In terms of what we like and what we listen to and what we enjoy and what's yeah. inspired us, so it kind of comes into this melting pot yeah. for, for when we for when we make music. And I think we're starting to, you know, five years later, yeah, starting to yeah. get a handle on what our what our sound sound is yeah. and what works best for our band. Yeah. So I guess when you guys do kind of like butt heads and, and disagree on certain things. Yeah. How, how do you how do you sort that out? That's a fight. The person who's got the I guess the strongest founding of their idea. Yeah. Okay. Um, will normally that will normally win out. And okay. if someone has an idea and they they haven't thought it through and it's like Liam saying like oh boys like we should do this and it's just like, it's just like shut the up tip of an idea. <laughs> like, that's that's there's there's n that's not happening. Yeah. Um, and he go he would just go oh yeah he's like, I didn't even think about that. Yeah. Um, we've spent we've spent a lot of time together now. We played our first gig in February of 2015. Okay. Coming up to five years, so we generally know how people will react and, yeah. won't, and yeah. kind of uh, think of an idea before we say. Our first national tour in 2017 was the album tour. Back of our, our back of our album. That was pre uh, that was pre Brett. Yeah, that was uh, the lovely back, venues back in the, the, back in the dark dark ages. 2018 2018. Um, a lot of that time was spent. Um, with the guys like rewriting stuff and then um, but also um, sort of putting together a plan as well did their first um, international support okay. in 2018 which was um, a big you know tick on the box every yeah, band likes to exactly, play with an international yeah. band so that was Moose Blood and Hundredth oh, um, at Fowler's before it uh, changed changed before hands over, yeah. um, so that was nice um, got to play as part of a little festival that I put together with Wax um, and uh, Sleep Talk who are just Killing it, and then last last year was the national tour for, yeah. for I'll Be Fine, um, which took the guys for the first time to Tassie. Man, um, if you've never been to Tassie before, yeah, go to fucking Tasmania. Potentially a third tour this year, depending how it works out. Um, it just is this an exclusive we're hearing right now? A third tour? <laughs> oh. it, it's a, it's a, like you, you can call it whatever you fucking yeah, want. Every, <laughs> <laughs> we have two got three guys who work full time, and um, I'll give you the hot tip: this band doesn't pay the bills. Yeah. Not, um, yet. Not, yet. not even close. And then, and then Steve, Steve's in his final year of uni, so okay. um, we a, a big focus is making sure that everything on the home base is um, is looked Seven. after. So, like the guy, if the guys are working, work and home life takes 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 care first, and then if we can tour in around that, perfect as well. Okay. So, so far, we've made it work. Yes, as, as best we can. And which is nice. Mildura for the first time last year. Um, played a couple of shows. I, I, I just think it's a great place. There's, there, there's yeah. some good mates of ours. I out in. too think it's a great place. Yeah, there's there's some great mates of ours um, who are out that way. Um, Loose Bricks and Idle Suburbia, um, who are who are out that way. Um, Loose Bricks are, are doing really well at the moment, and then the Idle Suburbia guys have been nothing but champions of of, of music out that way too. Um, and had the guys um, play uh, a festival called Yenna Fest um, at the end of last year, which frustratingly. Um, was the same night as Smith Street Band Ooh. here in Adelaide. 
which uh, we had been asked to play, oh. but because we were playing in Mildura the same night, we missed out. But uh, some good mates of ours down in Mount Gambier, Chelsea Manor, yep. um, yeah, course, yeah. played played that show with Smith Street Band, um, and uh, they are also just fucking sensational people. There is um, so much so more of a backstory to that Smith Street story. I don't think we were going to be telling. That's it. That's that. That, that's it in a nutshell. All right, you've. I mean, you got you got to continue with it. Look, yeah, Brett was in the poll and didn't have internet coverage when the email from Smith Street's management one day. came through. For one, one day. For 24, 36 hours? Yeah. yeah. For 36 hours, Brett didn't have internet and uh, the email came through. It like came and went. Sad, sad times. And Liam, was Liam, would, brutal, man. Liam would have eaten a sock. If, uh, if we'd gotten that sock, if we got that he would have eaten a he sock. He was going to eat a sock. And it didn't happen, but... Um, it, it, I mean, the, I guess the, the, the happy... The happy tragedy of it all was that we we did have a, a, a show booked um, yeah. to play that night, um, and um, Jaden from Idle Suburbia had asked us to come out and play Mildura that night. So okay. it's great to always have people to. So to we're, we're, we weren't going to be sitting at home depressed and yeah, yeah exactly. But, but it, in hands. Yeah. Um, we'll like be I was playing a show. Mildura has been nothing but like a second home for yeah. for the guys in the band. Um, we will continue to play shows there. Um, through the future, and look if there's an opportunity to play with Smith Street down the line. Sick. Yeah. Um, that would Smith Street. If you're watching this, yeah, can... come on, hit them. Um, which, let's be real, they are. Yeah, yeah, they are. Of course, big fans of the show, aren't you? Guys? Chris yeah. from Pool House Records, you better reply to my emails. <laughs> um, but no, like, like I said, it was great to see our mates Chelsea Manor, yeah. um, who, um, in the space of six months, went from putting on their first yeah, show yeah, at the One Night Stand yeah. um, to playing in a burger bar. In Mount yeah. Gambia, which I really want to do. Um, yeah, and then they, they played with Smith Street Band, um, and we, we've had them on for a couple of shows as yeah. well. Um, one in Melbourne um, with some mates of ours after school care in Woodle Glow, yeah. and then we had them play, play with us over Christmas um, as well. Um, and so this is uh, why I brought Pikey as well because he knows the names of all the bands we've oh, played yes. with, and I've just like the information doesn't contain with yeah. him anymore. Um, He's got all the important. But, exactly. Yeah, yeah but like and like. Um, Particularly Bianca, who's the who's the lead in, in Chelsea Manor. Yeah, um, she works her ass off down there and yeah, does not yeah. get nearly enough credit for the hard work that she puts yeah. in. Um, and that's 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 one thing that um, I always appreciate in music is that if someone's someone who's working their ass off and is, is a, a genuinely good person, those are the people that you yeah. you want to be friends yeah, with exactly. because they're they're always happy to have you back. Yeah. And then you if, you know you look after them at, at the same point. Yeah. So. Yes. You guys mentioned that you yeah, yes, did your second uh, yep. national tour last year. Um, for bands who, who are wanting to tour and haven't yet, what, what's your advice to them? Uh, first of all, apply for the Arts SA touring grant. Yep. Okay. You have to have at least, I think, three shows booked. You have to have three yep. interstate Interstate no, states, states not not interstate. Yeah. It just has to be out of your out of Adelaide. Oh, out of Adelaide. So, yeah, so it can be regional as well. Okay. They can be regional as well. So you can play shows in places like Mount Gambier, um, Mildura, Renmark, um, Port Pirie, Port Lincoln, yeah, um, okay. Wyala. Um, there's there's always music all over the place. Yeah. Any financial help with a with an, yeah. if you're in a yeah. regional band, any financial help is always very very well. Most most people have friends in bands in the state as well, and they're they're always happy to help. So like I said, with the grant funding is. Um, is a great resource and the Arts SA website has a has a lot and Music SA website as well has a lot of resources on there but also your friends yeah. and other bands um, you know no one's going to bite um, yeah. if, if you reach out to someone um, yeah just just get in touch with, with people and say hey how do I do this um, you can also book in book in time to see people at Music SA people are a great a great resource too um, so yeah it's a, it's a great place to start it's just ask yeah um, exactly. and then uh, then it sort of spirals from there yeah. um, and you can find yourself doing a whole tour yeah um, just off of recommendations which is also great um, if any any bands that want to you know we're talking about asking asking things and asking advice and, and all that kind of thing from bands like any bands that see this and want to ask us any kind of questions if we can give them answers we're yeah. all, always happy to facebook.com slash last adio Larson ADL. Larson ADL. Right? <laughs> is, that, is that what you yeah, that's, that's, It's Larson ADL, yeah. Okay. yeah. Um, you know, you're gonna get a flood of inboxes now. Yeah, the first time we played in, the first show we played in, um, in Nildura, playing the last song of the set, and there were people singing along in the crowd. And usually it's like I can, I, I know I can 
I know personally who the people are <laughs> in the crowd that are singing to our yeah. music, and now we're fucking five hours away from Adelaide, and someone else knows some, the words. Some, some stranger singing. Does, that, does that freak you out when you see people oh, shit, in yeah. the crowd and they <laughs> they know your songs? Yeah, yeah. They know the lyrics yeah. off my heart. So are you sure you want to be? Yeah. You know who we are, right? We're not. <laughs> We're shitty, like, yeah, yeah. why are you singing to our music? But it's very, yeah. that, you know, all jokes aside, it's very humbling. Some, someone at some point has listened to our music enough to, to yeah. sing along to it, which yeah. is really cool. Someone that I don't know personally. Yeah. yeah. We chatted a bit uh, before about how all, all these bands and all these musicians are putting on these fundraisers for, for the CFS, for bushfire victims, yep. um, for, for animal rehabilitation mm -hmm. uh, organisations, and uh, we find it funny how, how the arts in this country got yeah. a huge cut and yet it seems to be the arts that are donating the majority of money yes. to, to these. Yeah, looking at a situation like this you can't tell me and be serious about it that, that the arts doesn't have a place. Does, exactly, yeah, the, arts, exactly. The, the arts is useless and, and is, is just uh, you know, just a collection of hobbies that, that the people do yeah. in their spare time. It's, it's culture. It's exactly, yeah, culture. Absolutely. Exactly. And, and it's part of the typical Aussie culture of, you know, looking out for your mate. Yeah, exactly. That's the embodiment of what's happening across the country with musicians yeah. and, and artists just, you know, donating their time and their work and their creativity to, for no benefit for themselves, but to help people that have... Shed light on a cause. Yeah, and, 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 and help people who have, you know, lost fucking everything it, 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 it is great because um, it, it was very last minute for the guys to put together the show um, however that was uh, one of the one of the guys in the band um, Sam we do give Alex the credit no I don't know sorry we give Sam the credit but it was Alex's idea it was um, my idea but and I will I'll happily take full credit for the idea but because that's yeah. just the kind of guy I am. Yeah, no. But um, because Brett was in Falls, he was kind of unavailable. He was doing his own thing. So um, um, the, the four of us kind of helped put it get, put, put it together. Yeah. Also, quick shout out to um, Kyle, Kyle Kenworthy from Agapantha, one of the best bands in Adelaide, who threw together the uh, the promotional yeah. poster for no money whatsoever in about 24 hours. And so thanks, you, Kyle. I think we've reached our quota for shout outs in this video. Yeah, I <laughs> accept your challenge. It's not often that we can say definitively that the particular creative path that we're following is actively benefiting people. Yeah. It could be subjective, you know, you might listen to, you like, might like listening to our music, it might make you feel good, it might make you feel sad. Yeah. You pr most likely sad. Sad. But, um, <laughs> but the fact that we can we can use the music that we make and, and with help from, from yeah. wonderful bands as well to actually make a difference and a positive yeah. difference. Yeah. It's really, it's really, it's fucking cool, man. Well, you guys, you guys seem like, like, top gentlemen. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks, man. Um, what, what's next for you guys? What, what, do you, what do you want to do in the future? Where do you want to Ooh. go from here? We, uh, just this weekend, have filmed a, a video clip for a song that's coming out. It was so, so we just shot a film clip for that. Uh, we've got a couple singles that we recorded back in October in the bank. With uh, Lucky... Lucky Pitcher. Lucky Pitcher, yeah. Lucky Pitcher from, uh, who's the singer of... <laughs> yeah, shout out. Shout out. He's a singer of a metal band whose name is totally escaping me right now. I'm so sorry. But, but he's an incredible engineer and a lovely, lovely man. Um, yeah. And so we recorded a couple of singles with him and we've got in the bank ready to come out at some point this year. Yeah. And tours um, and shows. And, uh, actually just booked a, uh, a date for a single launch um, Ooh, in a couple wow, of months' okay. time. Um, uh, potentially a, a split launch with a with a band from Melbourne. Okay. Um, as well, we're just fine fine tuning the the the, the, the Melbourne date. Okay. Um, and then uh, potentially some some country shows. Oh, okay. As well. Um, yeah. So that that'll be nice just to be able to you know get down by the beach, play a show, and then go have a surf um, and a swim in the morning. That would be. I'm I'm very much looking forward to that. Um, and then. Uh, <laughs> And then, uh, yeah, build up towards another, um, probably releasing the other single. Oh, yes, we, we've recorded yeah. singles and we, we kind of bought ourselves time to keep writing where we yeah. have we have singles in the bank to release that we keep the yeah. people happy if that's what they are when they hear our music. The works of a maybe yeah. an overseas tour. Ooh. That's a very, yeah. but like when I say like the loose idea of touring, this is a, about as loose as it gets. Okay, well, you're just gonna go to. Bar that's what. That's the kind of. Yeah. It's the kind of thing we build towards. Is, okay, yeah, yeah, of and, course. And, yeah. Then, and then really, 
you know, we have a rough outline, we have the skeleton of a plan, and then kind of take, take things as they come yep. when they come to us, if they come uh, to us. Um, there's a couple new new song, like new songs coming together. Um, yeah, a couple, couple new riffs and stuff that the boys have brought to the table, which is awesome. which is nice. It's handy that Alex can play guitar as well. So if he does have not it, well, <laughs> not well, but that but he, enough, can, he can play it. Um, but no, if, if Alex has an idea, he can at least give um, give give the structure to a song, yeah, yeah. Um, and then can pitch it, and then Sam um, Sam's able to flesh it out a bit more. Um, so we've got that. We may be recording later um, in the year, but we got the yeah, like Alex said, we've got the two singles. Um, Somewhat of a, of a uh, maybe a, a, a short tour um, if, if we can fit it in, a, in and around, um, and then a loose idea of a an overseas tour. Um, we'll see what we'll see what happens with that. It's just very much like waiting to see what's what's financially viable, yeah. um, and uh, if it, if it falls within yeah. like availability dates as well. Ba basically, we're just happy doing what we're doing because yeah. what we do is what we love. And but until that runs out, we'll just. Keep going. Yeah, a couple singles, um, a short tour, um, and then uh, maybe a, a big old party some sometime throughout the year. Cool.